so many bourbons and life is so short. Well, there are, there are restaurants that, the ones that really can brag about having a great bourbon selection would have no less than 200, and some might have three or, or 100 or more. For someone looking to try bourbon for the first time, the recommendation is something not too strong, but not too light, and not too expensive. So I, I think this, the Old Forester, and this happens to be Old Forester 100 proof. There's an Old Forester at 86 proof, very tasty, it tends to have a little bit uh, more towards the rye end of bourbons, and uh, I think it's just a great buy. It's one of the best buys out there in terms of taste and, uh, and price. And a suggestion for the bourbon aficionado? Well, you'll, you'll never get any one big bourbon drinker to admit to just one bourbon being the, the best, but given price, given the taste, given all the characteristics that I enjoy in a bourbon, I, th I think... The one that I would always gravitate to if I uh, had only one bottle left to drink would be uh, Booker's. By law, to be called Kentucky bourbon, it must be made in Kentucky. It must be made from at least 51% corn and in a virgin white oak barrel. Uh, anything called whiskey can be colored, can be flavored. Anything called bourbon cannot have anything artificial. It is uh, A lot of people are starting to refer to it as a true native spirit. There aren't that many... Uh, spirits that are exclusive to the United States. You can't make bourbon anywhere else but the United States legally.